Hey boys and girls, Miss Kate, I'm gonna read Santa Bruce tonight. So get snuggly on your couch and here we go. Bruce was a bear who did not like the holidays. He used to stay in bed all winter long and skip right through the whole business. But his family wanted to enjoy a cozy, snow-filled Christmas together. This is going to be a great Christmas. No migrating, no hibernating, just family. Honk. But Bruce was awake. Actually, bears don't hibernate. They spend the winter in a state of lethargy. Shh, you're ruining the Christmas spirit. I thought we were spending the whole winter in the state of Maine. The geese had decked the halls. The mice made eggnog. The holiday season was going to be filled with fun and cheer. Bruce did not like fun. Bruce did not like cheer. Bruce did not like fun or cheer. Bruce also did not like being cold, which is why he started wearing long underwear and a warm hat. And then it happened again. A case of mistaken identity. Are you Santa? Bruce did not like mistaken identities. No, I'm not. Go away. I'm not Santa. Wait right here till I go get my friends. Wait, girl. I'm not Santa. Bruce decided to ignore the problem until it went away. Knock, 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 knock. It did not. It got worse. Do I hear someone knocking? Who can it be? Let's let them in. No, do not open the door. I don't want all their little dirty feet in my house. And worse, Santa! Tell them I'm not Santa. Okay, everyone, listen up. Single file, no pushing. Santa Bruce has time to see you all. Who wants cocoa? And worse. Soon word spread and all the little critters of the forest wanted to visit Santa Bruce to tell them what they wanted for Christmas. I want 99 red balloons for Christmas. For Christmas, I want world peace. I want a race car. Ugh. I have been very good this year. Can you please bring me a power compound miter saw for Christmas? Finally, all went home and Bruce could, grum could grumble in peace and quiet, but not for long. Knock, 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 knock. Bah humbug. Because all the parents wanted to thank Bruce for his Christmas spirit Bruce tried to tell them that he didn't have any. That's when Thistle made an announcement. To who? Bruce wants to show, wants to welcome. Bruce wants to say you're welcome. And what's more, Santa Bruce is going to deliver presents to all the kids tonight. It's a Christmas miracle! And with that, the parents left shouting out with glee. Bruce did not like glee. Finally, Bruce headed to bed. The mice had other ideas. But what about getting ready for your big night? Yeah, what about the children? Bruce put his foot down. I am not doing this. I will not deliver presents. Besides, you don't have a sleigh. But the mice were persistent. Ta-da! Well, you don't have reindeer. The geese were helpful. Fine, fine, but there are no presents. And everyone was ready. By the way, what's in the box? Crackers. I'm still not going. Lee. All you have to do is sit in the sled. We'll give you chocolate eggs. Finally, 
the grumpy old bear agreed to be Santa Bruce for one night and everyone was happy. I think we have too much weight on the sleigh. Well, almost everyone. This is going to be the best Christmas. Ugh. Being Santa Bruce was not an easy job. That is not a cookie. That is soap. And by the time Santa Bruce finally finished, the early morning light was creeping over a white Christmas. And all the critters in the forest woke to, their, to find their presents waiting for them from Santa Bruce. Crackers! Bruce had spread the spirit of Christmas all over the forest and brought everyone happiness. Merry Christmas, Bruce! Bruce did not like happiness. He liked sleeping, but Bruce's bed would have to wait. I'm sleeping through next Christmas, he said. Let's do this every year! Honk!